I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, my divine gods and goddesses. Welcome to my fertility goddess. My name is Janessa and I am a psychic and a medium. And a lot of you guys know me for my fertility readings. Well, today I will be delivering messages from spirit surrounding something a bit different, something surrounding your manifestations. I am a huge lover of manifestation energy. I have been working with it for years at this point. And so I felt called to do a reading as to what you are manifesting into your life right now, what you are naturally manifesting. Some of you guys may be actually using certain energies to manifest um, blessings into your life, okay, or to make changes in your life. Um, and But some of you guys may just naturally be doing it day by day through the words that you're speaking, through the actions that you're taking, and so forth. So this is what we're going to dive into. As you can see, we have pile one, pile two, pile three. Choose whichever called you card you feel called towards um, or you feel is pulsating at you. Take a deep breath if you need to, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Close your eyes, open them, and choose. If you need more time to pick your pile, pause the video, and then all of the timestamps are down below in the description box or in the, well, probably both, description box and the comment section. I'll see you in your reading. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. We are going to dive into the messages from spirit surrounding what you are currently manifesting in your life. This is a timeless reading. So whenever this reading comes across your For You page or you run across it or you search up manifestation um, and it finds you, then that means you are meant to watch this reading. You are meant to receive this message. Okay. So we have a couple of oracle cards that are already selected, so I'll go ahead and go through those, and then we'll pull out some, actually shuffle, um, and allow spirit to select some um, tarot cards, okay? So let's see what we have here. What are you manifesting in your life? <sighs> wow, I feel like, I mean, I'm sure you just heard me take a deep breath. Like this card is so powerful. It says compassion, but the energy that I feel on it is much more than compassion. You are manifesting a deep connection with the universe, okay? Some of you guys are clairvoyant. Some of you guys are seers. Um, some of you guys dream, daydream, you have visions. Um, you may even be manifesting using a vision board if you're not getting on it ASAP, okay? <laughs> because that is something that is um, going to help bring in your manifestations even quicker. Um, but I just feel like you are manifesting this deep connection with the universe. This feels like what you're currently doing, the actions that you are um, currently taking, it feels like you are, I don't even know how to like explain this. It feels like whatever you're doing right now, it's not temporary. You know how sometimes, like for example, a vision board, you may make a vision board for a specific goal um, and you know, you put like all the things that you want to manifest or you want to bring into your life on this vision board, right? Well, this I feel is something that is permanent. Some of you guys are going through major spiritual awakenings at this time. You are ascending. You are, you know, deepening your connection with yourself. You're deepening your connection, like I said, with the universe, with the divine. Um, and this is creating a, like a, it's not even a strong energetic link. It's like a permanent energetic link. And some of you guys may be like, well, that's always there, right? Right, it is always there, but we don't always realize that it's there. Sometimes we start to doubt. Sometimes we start to feel like we, things are going, you know, bad for us in life. And we're just like, oh, woe is me, right? Why is this not coming in? No, it's almost like you are creating a special, like, mantra or a special technique. Or you're figuring out what works best for you so that your manifestations come in all the time. You're creating a permanent link to the universal energy, meaning you are 
literally going to be able to bring in whatever it is that you want at any time, okay? You're deepening your connection with the divine, with the universe. And with this connection, like I said, I feel like some of you guys may really be on a spiritual journey, going through a spiritual awakening. Because on like with this connection, you are meant to heal the world. You are meant to actually teach others. Okay, you are meant to actually um like maybe you've like I said created a very special or unique manifestation technique that works for you. Something that you haven't been taught, something that you've never heard of. Doesn't mean you know someone else could have could be doing the same thing but maybe you just never heard of it right it's something special and unique to you and the spirit is saying you are meant to teach this you are meant to get this out into the world you are also meant to touch the world and heal the world with this with this technique some of you guys by this this deepening this spiritual awakening this ascension you are manifesting a new career okay like you don't even realize it you are manifesting this huge transformative shift in your life okay um because you now have the power to like it's not even you have the power you now realize your power to heal to create to manifest to bring things into your physical reality you realize the deep connection that you have with the universe with the 5d space with your imagination and how you can literally just bring things from your imagination into your physical space and so with that power with that you become powerful because you realize your power right and with that power you heal others and you teach others as well so i feel like another thing that you are manifesting at this time into your life is um you are manifesting um companionship which is interesting because we have compassion here but i'm feeling like this is com alignment and companionship like you are manifesting your soul family you are bringing in i guess you're bringing in people who really um do have like love for you people who are who love you for who you are who you can feel compassionate towards um, and also has compassion, like reciprocal compassion for you. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so you're you're like manifesting your soul family through this spiritual awakening, through this realization energy. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have a man holding a heart. Okay, so it doesn't matter your gender, whether you're feminine or um, uh, masculine or if you like, you know, if you date feminine or masculine energies, it does not matter. You are manifesting, some of you guys are manifesting a love partner, like you're manifesting um, someone that you can, like I said, like they, you send them energy and love and, and passion and they send that back to you, okay? Someone who has a great love for you. I'm seeing the number 18 here. I don't even think that's a number. But for a split second, I saw the number 18 on this heart. So the 18th, that could be your birthday. Um, that can be a special date, your first date with this person. Um, for some of you guys, this is deepening your connection with your partner, your spouse, your fiance, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whomever, okay? Um, like, or if you're just dating, right? If you're just like, there's no titles, but maybe you guys are falling um, deeper in, like you're getting to know each other better, not just for the superficial, but like deepening that connection. You're getting to really know who you guys, you know, like who you are, okay? And how you guys can, um, I'm hearing supplement, but I don't know if that's the right word, how you can complement each other, that's the word. Um, and I feel like I said, some of you guys, this is romantically, okay? For others, this may be a business partnership. This may be um, your soul family, right? But this is definitely love. This is definitely alignment, okay, in the emotional sense. Um, it's almost like Spirit is saying, like, you've had to fight so hard to, like, quote, unquote, fit in or step out, okay? Some of you guys had to fight to step out, step away from society so you can be yourself. And you may have ever, like, you may have even given up on ever finding someone who was aligned with you or that who you could, re who you could relate to. And I'm seeing here that this is what you're manifesting. The current actions that you're saying, the current words that you're speaking about yourself and about um, your path in general, like, you are bringing in this energy of love of compassion of alignment okay of your soul like soul, soul mate okay your soul partner um is what i feel here 
For some, I'm seeing like this wavy hair. Like hair is really significant because hair is standing out to me on this card and also on this card as well. So there's something about hair, okay? This is your partner or your, your, your whether it's a romantic or a business or like soul family. Like you may find someone who has like, they may love their hair or they may just have like extravagant hairstyles, okay? But there's something about hair hair you may even have uh, extravagant hairstyles or your hairstyles may look like you know one of the two here but there's something about hair spirit is bringing my attention to okay um let's see what else we have uh oh i don't want to pull the camera i think i just did sorry um let's see what else we have coming in for you here we also have the number nine okay like spirit was saying in regards to um like what you're you like you felt like you would never some of you guys felt like you would never find someone who understood you you would never find someone you know who aligned with your energy um this is coming to an end like you're closing out old cycles of like this belief system okay as you are speaking some of you guys are speaking your soul family into existence like every day you're saying affirmations or you're writing about your soul family okay or you have them on your vision board um you know you know what you want you know that you want to be you may not have a clear-cut direction of like you know career wise or what's going to like build your foundation right you're you're bringing finances for you or how you want your relationship to look like but you know how you want to feel is what i'm hearing like you know who you want to be around and how you want them to make you feel so spirit is saying connect with the feeling right there is many different ways to manifest many different ways to to connect with um your power if you will but feeling is definitely one of the ways it doesn't work for everyone but for you guys i feel like you know you know how you want to feel. You know how you want your partner to make you feel, right? You know how you want your friends to make you feel, your family to make you feel. So connect with that energy and go from there is what I'm hearing. Um, let's see. So 45 could be um, a significant number, 18, and so can the number 9. We also have change, okay? So we have. I actually got a few cards from this deck, so I'm going to actually bring them all out. And I feel like this is what I'm going to do here because I want to lay them side by side. So we have change, release, okay, and abundance. Wow. Okay. So there's you're, you're manifesting a lot of endings, a lot of changes, transformations. We have the number nine here twice. We have the number 11 and we have the number eight, okay? So we have abundance here twice with the number eight and with the abundance card. We have the number 11 here showing this beautiful wish come true, this, this manifestation energy. And we have the number nine here twice showing endings, okay? So what you are manifesting and what you are bringing into your life right now is a major ending. You're releasing, okay? You're releasing. Look at this. This reminds, this card is like the tower card, okay? This is the thunder moon. This represents the month of July. So July could be significant for some of you guys. Um, and so can um, October, because we also have October's energy here, okay? September, October, or July, okay, is what I'm picking up here. Uh, I also kind of feel Scorpio energy. So I don't know, those, um, which is Scorpio is in November, October, no, yeah, October, November. So those could be some significant months for some of you guys where you may um, welcome in this change. This manifestation may have started for you. You may have started to feel yourself shift um, because with this energy right here, you definitely, you're feeling this. Like this is something that is not gonna catch you by surprise. This is something that you felt coming in in May, like little by little, okay, started to shift. Maybe you started to separate yourself from certain friends. Some of you guys, this has been like even a year or two or three or four year transition where you were starting to slowly separate yourself from others. You were starting to slowly pull back from those who you didn't feel aligned with. Um, and you were like, you know what? It's time for me to do me. It's time for me to be me. And if that means that I don't have friends, then that means I don't have friends, right? Um, but what spirit's like, you're wrong right you do have your family you do have your you know your soul family um and they're like we just needed you to find out about who you truly are we needed to you to find yourself before we could introduce them to you okay because 
they are probably on a very similar journey as you are or as you were these past few years. They probably had to do the same thing, find themselves, figure out who they are um, in order for them to step into the space of being them and being aligned with your energy, okay? I'm telling you, when you guys meet these people, some of you guys have already met some of these people, but when you meet them, if you haven't, you are going to cry from literally from joy, from happiness, from contentment, right? Like you're just going to be like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this person is so much like me and they just get me. Like, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful energy here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So I also am getting like something else you're manifesting in your life right now. You are bringing in lots of abundance, okay? So with the harvest moon here, or the hunter moon, I'm sorry, this is reminding me of harvest season, okay? Um, we have here this beautiful like fall energy, which I mean, this right here, this is like empress energy to me. This is, um, she's just living in her own like <laughs> her own space okay very abundant but i feel like this is i wanted to, i said harvest moon because i feel like you're getting ready to harvest like you're manifesting your harvest all the seeds that you've planted all of the hard work that you've done in the past all of the things that you've released let go feel these butterflies representing all the transformation some of you guys actually a lot of you this hasn't been easy for you okay because we have this change energy which is showing me like lightning right thunder and lightning um it's been really hard i feel like it's been emotional it's been like nerve-wracking you may have had a lot of transitions it may feel like you're always changing you're always doing something different like that's what it kind of feels like here and um i feel like because of that that's kind of why you started to doubt that's why you started to feel like okay maybe i'm always just going to be alone or i'm always going to you know I'm never going to find anybody that aligns with me, um, but it's harvest season, okay? And that's coming up. Depending on when you're watching this, some of you guys, um, I feel like September and October is so significant. September, October, November, okay? For a lot of you guys, it's very significant um, to you receiving this harvest, okay? For some of you guys, it may be in July or July could be when you start to experience changes or when you're going through the bulk of your change and transformation, okay? Like your challenging month, it's what I feel here. And Spirit is like, keep going, okay? This change is for the better, okay? This change is for the better. For those of you guys who are still in this process, release, okay? Release and let go of um, the things that have been holding you back. And honestly, I say that, but I feel that, like I said previously, it's going to be really hard or it has been very hard. And that's why I feel like Spirit is having me say this, like release, like I'm reminding you, okay, that you need to release and let go of things, especially people that have come back and forth into your life or their energy is like, like, yes, I can help you now. No, I can't help you. Yes, I can help you now. No, I can't help you. Um, or the people who are like, hand me out, right? Like, give me, give me, give me, but they're not giving to you, okay? Like, that's kind of what I feel here. There are other transition spirit is asking you to release, okay? Or maybe you've recently released something in regards to your career, in regards to um, like your foundation energy, in regards to a mindset, okay? Um, but there's a lot of things that are shedding from you and that is how you step into this abundant state. So don't fight okay don't fight the release energy it's like i said it's going to be uncomfortable if you haven't gone through it already um some of you guys are going through it now some of you guys have not reached that stage yet and some of you guys are at the end and you're like yeah that was very uncomfortable um and i'm ready for my abundance okay <laughs> and i'm here to tell you that you're coming this is coming in and this is materialistic okay this abundance we've been talking about a lot of compassion love like that energy but the abundance that i see here is very materialistic um, it is like um, a new home or like if you've been manifesting a home, a car, um, a better job or a better paying job. Um, like I said, some of you guys are manifesting this career where you can literally use your spiritual gifts. Okay, you have spiritual gifts, you're a healer, um, and this is going to bring in a lot of abundance for you. Um, and I also feel like this abundance is coming in with ease. It's not something that has to be forced. Maybe in the past you were forcing things to happen so that you can um 
get what you want, right? But like I said, you've tapped into this pillar of light here. You've tapped into this abundant energy of the universe and you've realized how you and the universe are one, right? You and the divine are one and how you can literally bring in whatever it is that you love, okay? Whatever it is that is aligned with you. Um, beautiful. What else do we have here, Spirit? Inner child, okay? So we have the number 10, which is more October energy coming out. The number 10 can also be significant as a date, okay? Maybe your birthday could be a date that you experience your harvest or you experience a change, meet your person even, okay? Um, but some of you guys should also work with Dalmatian stone, okay, as a, as a crystal, um, but inner child, okay, so this is deep healing that is coming in for you. This is deep healing that you are manifesting through this new path. And we were talking about that, like you've been connecting with the universe. So this is why you are, wow, this is why you are stepping into the space of abundance because you are healing your energy. You're, you're literally going through the dark night of the soul, or this is something that you have went through, Okay um inner child healing the dark night of the soul like these are things that um just come with comes with this transition okay so like i said some of you guys have not hit this yet but this is what you're manifesting your abundance okay some of you guys like i said want more money you want more material possessions right you want more love okay if you're getting an abundance and everlasting abundance okay, of whatever it is that you're manifesting right now, because you are realizing that you have a unlike separable, like an inseparable connection to the divine, an inseparable connection to the universe, right, where you can just literally, things are pouring into you. So know that this deep, this work, it's not going to be easy. Spirit is like, it's not easy. You're going to be tested. There are things that, are, you know, you're going to want to quit. <laughs> you're going to want to back out. You're going to want to go back to the people who weren't treating you well. You're going to want to go back to the job that wasn't, you know, reliable. Um, you're going to want to go back because that's the comfortable zone. But I promise you, if you go through this phase, if you go through these phases with me, <laughs> You will be happy that you did. You will be glad that you did. That is what Spirit is saying. If you go through these phases with me, you will be happy at the end result, okay? You will be so grateful that you stuck around <laughs> because this is, wow, gratitude. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I have to read this. Okay, so these are your next two cards. I just happened to look at them and you will be so grateful that you stuck around, okay? It says, all humans suffer, and I find this idea revolutionary and freeing because the people who I envy, admire, and idolize suffer just as I do. So I choose overwhelming gratitude for my life, for I am all that I need, yes. So you are manifesting this sense of gratitude as well. But let me tell you, let me just break this down for you just in case you, you missed it, okay? All humans suffer. We just were, we were just talking about how it's not gonna be easy. This is like a revolutionary transformation, okay? Um, and it's going to free you from this cycle that you've been in, right? It's going to free you from this like wanting to go back because it's comfortable because you feel like that is what is, you know, you're meant to do. That is how you're going to make your money. That is how you're going to be successful. That is how you're going to be in the spotlight. That is how you're going to be able to live, right? And and provide for yourself and your family. Like you are releasing and freeing yourself from this idea, okay? There may even be other people that you've looked up to or other people that you may have even envied at one time maybe you admire them or you idolize them but you are going to realize that these people maybe you're realizing it now because I'm saying you're going to find your soul family you're going to find the people that you align with and those people have gone through the same dark night of the soul the same like they've had to do shadow work they've had to heal themselves from a deep inside out okay in order to make space for this light in order to make space for this connection to self and to the divine and they 
have suffered just as you have. Maybe they just, maybe they're on social media so you don't see it, right? They don't show all of that. They just show the glorious part, right? They just show the beauty and the success. And Spirit is like, look, <laughs> these people, they have gone through the same things, whether they are your soul family and you connect with them or you admire them, right? They have gone through something very similar as your, as your journey. Um, so, Spirit is saying, please choose overwhelming gratitude for the life that you have, the life that you are living, and for that all you are, because you are all that you need, okay? You are abundant in this moment. We also have balanced, exactly. The state of mind, the state of body, okay, the state of heart is balanced. My relationships and myself are two separate entities, so when I am feeling poorly, this does not mean my relationships are struggling and vice versa. This separation allows me a better sense of identity and a stronger bond with those closest to me. You are definitely manifesting a stronger bond, okay, with those closest to you because they are aligned with your energy, right? And you know who you are. You're balanced within and without. And so you know what you want, what you don't want, right? And so therefore you are able to separate yourself and release the ideology or the idea that because you feel bad inside, you're having a bad day, that everything around you is crumbling, right? Because sometimes we feel that way. We're like, oh my gosh, like the world is crumbling around me because I feel bad today or I didn't get enough sleep and I'm grumpy, right? And you're releasing those, those energies that you may have, that's the lack, right? That's lack thinking. That's, that's, I don't have enough. I'm not abundant. And you're stepping into this balanced, abundant space. And you're realizing that, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to have my ups and downs. I'm going to go, you know, day by day. I'm going to live day by day. Um, but today I may have a great, you know, business day, but I may not have a great personal day and that's okay. Today I may have a great relationship day, but I may not have a great business day and that's okay, right? And you're really you're really in a balanced mindset, okay? A balanced state of mind where you're able to separate yourself um, from, like separate your different relationships and connections um, so that you can actually enjoy life, okay? Is what I'm hearing. I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. We're gonna get a few tarot cards here and then we'll get your affirmation or receive one more manifestation message okay for you before we close out your reading i hope that you are excited i am excited for whoever chose this pile um i am so excited for you because i just feel that you really don't realize like you see you hear like you understand right some of you guys can even like see as in through your third eye because i said i feel like some of you guys are clairvoyant um and you, you get it, but you don't really get it. Like, you won't get it until you're in there. And some of you guys are watching this with so much, like, security and confidence and, like, and just, like, I don't want to say balance again, but balance. Like, the energy around you just feels so secure. And you have yet to receive this beautiful abundance, but you know that it's coming. You trust that it's coming because you've been connecting with the divine every day. Okay, some of you guys are already, you know, are healers and spiritual um, teachers. And so you are already using your, you know, practicing your, your spiritual gifts. And so you feel that, right? You know that that is coming towards you. You know that you are abundant. Um, and you're in this process of releasing and shedding your old thoughts, old bodies, old personalities, like... <laughs> Like it's, it's a very transformative time for you. Okay. And spirits like, this is your time. This is your, this is what you've been manifesting with all of these transitions, all of these ups and downs. Okay. This, this shadow work you've been doing, this inner child healing you've been doing, the meditations, the walks in nature, the grounding, like this is what you're, this is what you have been preparing for. This is what you have been getting ready for. Spirits like, I've been getting you ready for this abundance. Okay. So, who? Let's see what we have here, okay? So we have, wow, the Six of Swords, okay? So the Six of Swords is showing me that 
you are definitely manifesting a huge transition. Some of you guys may even be traveling, relocating, okay, going to like a completely new new place physically, but I feel like this is also representing you like mentally, your mindset, okay? You're stepping away from your old way of thinking, you're moving away, um, and you're moving into a more, like I said, secure space mentally, um, as well as emotionally, okay? You're just, you're, you're like that old life is done. No more, no more conflict, no more disagreements, no more, you know, some of you guys are moving away from the consistent transitions, the consistent changes, okay? And you're finally moving towards something steady, something that will be successful. We have the king of pentacles here, okay? That's why I said, wow, because I'm like, wow, this is just, a complete turnaround is what I feel for some of you guys, okay? Um, and so whether you're a male or female, this is you, okay? Success, okay? Things just aligning for you, okay? Things making sense, moving forward with practicality, right? Being able to, um, you know, work smarter and not harder. <laughs> and I don't even want to use the word work because it's like you're doing the work, you're doing the inner work, you're doing the, you know, manifestation work, but it's not really work because it's aligned with who you are. Okay. I love it. I love it. So let's get your last message here. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Oh my gosh. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Okay. If you have this is definitely something different than what I typically do, but I am really enjoying it. So let me know down below if you enjoy it as well and how this message aligns with your manifestation journey, okay, or your life journey at this time, okay? So, wow. So the last message I have for you says, I am open to love, okay? I am open to love. I said last, but I have one more. I want to read the bottom of the deck. And the bottom of the deck says, I am not afraid to take risk, okay? So for my my divine gods and my divine goddesses, okay, who are watching this pile, um, definitely don't be afraid to take risk. Don't be afraid of the transformations and the changes because some of you guys are still going through those. Um, many, And it's like you'll start to realize that you're almost to your abundance when those changes and transformations start to slow down, okay? When they start slowing down, you're going to be like, whoo, you know? But at the same time, you won't really be like, whoo, because you'll also be more like, I don't know, connected to spirit. So it's like you, even though you just like they're slowing down, you knew they were going to slow down because spirit told you, right? <laughs> okay, and then for my divine gods and goddesses, also be open to love, okay? Your soul family is coming in. This is a partnership, business partnership, relationship partnership, okay? Soulmate, deepening your soul connection if you're already in a love relationship. If you already have a business partnership, you guys are deepening your connection together, understanding each other on a deeper level, okay? Some of you guys are like, I'm gonna have to, you know, find a new partner or a new business partner or whatever it may be because we just cannot... Get it together and this is like spirits like no 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 like you guys are going to be balanced okay you guys are going to show each other gratitude be grateful for one another and what it is that you bring to the team okay um and so i see that that's turning around for you as well you're moving away from conflict disagreements and you're moving into a place of harmony okay a place of understanding a place of success okay and strength so i love it i love it <laughs> if you were drawn to any other piles, definitely check them out because there could be a message there for you as well. If not, and you want to check out my other videos, I have a couple of manifestation affirmation videos. Um, and then I also have some fertility reading videos and then whatever else is on the channel. <laughs> um, but you can check it out by clicking the subscribe button, of course, and then going to my playlist. I hope you find something that you love. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, divine gods and goddesses. If you chose pile number two, then this is indeed your reading, okay? This is what you are currently manifesting into your life. This may be through like um, consistent action or maybe you are just like just 
from day-to-day -day action, right? Um, different things you're doing. Maybe you actually are using a specific manifestation technique, okay? Um, for this pile, though, I feel like you guys are being persistent, okay? And, con and consistent with whatever you're doing. So it doesn't feel like you are just randomly doing certain things. It feels like you have a goal in mind and you are aiming for it, okay? Like you're aiming for something. You have a goal. You are specifically trying to manifest something into your life, okay? Um, whether this is joy, happiness, or a specific like something, okay? I don't know. I can't put my finger on it here, but it just feels very like focused. Like you, you feel very focused right now, okay? So let's see what we have here. We have talent. Okay, so immediately I feel like there is definitely something that you are striving for surrounding talent, okay? Whether this is like, I'm getting like a rush of things. So this could be through dance, music. Um, maybe you are a, like you have a skill, an ability um, that you want to, like I'm hearing uh, fine tune, okay? Like you wanna fine tune your skill or your ability here. Um, you are looking to, for example, if you love to play sports, maybe you're playing sports right now, but you're in the minor league and you're trying to go to the major leagues. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a sports person, but there's something about you're trying to like get seen, be noticed, be in the spotlight, even influencers. I'm hearing influencers. Okay. Like you are trying to perfect a talent, perfect a skill an ability so that it can, um, it's almost like you are, maybe this is going to be like for a profession, okay? Or this could just be something that you're very passionate about. So this is like your life, okay? Um, some of you guys, this is a talent or a skill or an ability that you have kind of, you haven't really paid attention to. Like you've, you've buried the dream, you've buried the idea that you, you know, are ever going to be able to make it, quote unquote, right? Or be seen or... Um, you know, be out in the spotlight. Um, and spirit is like, this is what's being manifested into your life. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on here. We have the number 41. Okay, so the number five could be significant. Um, your crown chakra is definitely significant here. That's what we have. Um, and oh, okay, and with the number uh, 41. Okay, so 41 could be significant as well. I am hearing here with the crown chakra, I heard that you have been connecting with the divine, you have been praying, you have been um, working with the universe, okay, to manifest this through your crown chakra, okay? Um, for those of you guys who have not been connecting with your crown, like this is major, okay? Um, your crown chakra is a space of divine connection. It is um, about, it represents op being open to new ideas, okay? Being open to um, new possibilities, new outcomes. Um, I'm hearing like clear-minded, having a clear mind is very important as well for you. The color purple is also significant. I'm really picking up on purple here and purple all with the seventh chakra here, okay? But yes, your crown chakra is so important here. Um, let's see what else we have coming in. Acceptance, more divine connection, more universal connection. Beautiful. Okay. Let me see. We have rejuvenation and we have productivity. Yeah. So like I said, I feel like some of you guys, um, are definitely like aiming for perfecting a skill, a talent, an ability, getting out into the spotlight. Maybe you have like a clouded mind or, um, a clouded, like you can't see how you're going to get to this position or get into this space. Um, and spirit is like, you are manifesting the right connections. You are manifesting like with this acceptance card here, it's like people are being placed in your life so that they can help guide you and mentor you to get to where you want to be. So I feel like spirit is mani like you're manifesting the steps necessary to reach where you need to be. Okay. Um, some of you guys have been like, like I said, some, it's like, I'm feeling that some of you guys have been like, you've given up on the dream or you're close to giving up. Um, and so you haven't really been putting much work towards the dream. Right. And for some, like, it doesn't have to be a skill an ability, a talent. It can just be a dream that you have. And what's, what you are manifesting is this dream. Like you've given up on this dream. You've given up on, 
um destiny is what i'm hearing like you are this is it says talent here because this is something that you were born to do this is something that you are just made to do okay whatever this dream is you you know started to reduce it with predict productivity in the um, reverse it feels like you've started to kind of fall back on taking the actions are the steps necessary to um, refine or develop your skills your abilities or whatever it may be um, or to reach this dream climb the ladder is what I'm hearing too for some of you guys this could be in regards to career um, but what spirit is saying is like no 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 this is you are meant to do this this is your destiny the reason you desire this manifestation is because you are destined to have it you are destined to achieve this goal um, but there is some work that needs to be done there are some things that you have to um move forward with okay there are some people that you need to work with so some of you guys have been kind of hesitant when it comes to partnerships collaborations um and different things like that and spirits like hey like you need to collaborate you need to work with others i'm sending people to you they've you've interacted with them a lot of you guys have already interacted with these people you've had ideas that have come to you from spirit you've received downloads from spirit about how you can work with these people okay they're here to help guide you mentor you teach you um you know tell they they'll even tell you about their story they'll tell you how they made it to a specific place they'll tell you about what they do to um that does not drain their energy with rejuvenation here in the reverse you could be um for those of you guys who are working towards your dream you may be putting in a lot of work like you may be working really hard towards it trying to manifest it trying to bring your dream into reality but you are draining yourself right you do not this is not the way to go is what i'm hearing <laughs> this is not the way to go what's really interesting is we have the number four here we have the number 41 which is five and we have the number 23 which is another five so some of you guys i'm hearing like this is just a halfway point okay we have the number five here which is representing changes shifts okay there is a change there is a shift that is about to happen that so spirit is like prepare for that get ready for that because it's coming in we also have with the number four this is a divinely guided path for you okay so do not give up <laughs> Do not give up. Let's see what the productivity card says. It says, my worth is not based on my productivity and it never has been. I do not need to take actions to prove that I belong. All babies are worthy and they cannot, in truth, care for themselves. Excuse me. We all came into this world worthy without production. Like I said, this is your divine right. Some of you guys, this dream is surrounding growing your family. We have babies are worthy. So maybe you're trying to have a baby. Okay, you could be on a fertility journey um, or you, you know, you're trying to expand your family in some way, whether this is through um, or even just not in your family, but just expanding expansion and growth in some way. You're trying to birth a project out into the world. Okay, if this is not a baby, a literal baby, this could be literally like you birthing a project out into the world. Or you like, I'm seeing someone like coming from the center of a rose as it's like opening up. There's like someone like coming out just how she is here, but like coming out from the center of a rose, like, look at me, right? And it's like, you are trying to get out in front of people, certain people, um, I'm even hearing contracts, okay? So some of you guys are trying to get contracts with others or you will be signing contracts with others, okay? Collaboration. Um, some of you guys are trying to like sign a deal or maybe you're trying to get a sponsorship or you are trying to get a, um, yeah, like, I don't know, you're adding on to like your building or like for if you have like a building, you're trying to have somebody sign a document to agree to, you know, an investor or um, a VC like you're like you're making like connections or you're trying to make connections but you're you're burning out spirit is like you're burning out okay you're you're being overproductive for some of you guys it's time to lessen that productivity for others you're underproductive so it's kind of like balance balance is key here <laughs> balance is key okay um and definitely definitely listening to your downloads okay because spirit is definitely sending you downloads here let me pull another card here i'm gonna pull a manifestation card because i want to see if there's anything else that's coming in here for you um i'm also hearing okay some of you guys have some ancestors or some loved ones that have passed okay that are 
supporting you on this dream. You may have even received a message from them yourself. You may have received a chat out message from them, or this could be like through a reading. Maybe you've had a mediumship reading or a reading where they came through for you and they delivered these messages to you, letting you know that, hey, you're gonna get this. Hey, you are meant for this. Hey, this is your destiny. Okay, you are, you know, this type of person. This is where you're supposed to like, some of you guys have gotten confirmations before from other readings or from your loved one directly or your ancestors have told you like, hey, you're, you know, meant to shine your talent out into the world. Like we, it's almost like I'm hearing some ancestors coming through. Like we have been like a strong lineage of, you know, um, I don't know why I'm hearing like, uh, like mailmen. <laughs> Like we have been a strong, like we have been like hardworking men for generations, you know, to come. And you are meant to, you know, also shine your light in whatever way you want to, you know, be a hardworking person. But it's almost like you have gotten this boost from your family or you're getting it now. Like, hey, like you are meant to be, and I'm sure some of you, like you guys don't want to be a hardworking person. You want things to be easy, right? <laughs> But, you know, whatever this is for you, it's like they're coming through like, hey, we we were there once before, okay? And so trust and believe that you are meant to achieve your dream. Ah, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this makes me so excited because a lot of you guys were really giving up on your dream. I'm hearing don't give up on the dream, okay? But definitely be open and receptive to the connections, the collaborations, the mentorships okay because you're meant to work with people to help you get to where you want to go so that you don't burn out your energy because they have already been there they have already learned some things they have already you know like they've already done some things that you're trying to do and so it's no there's no reason that could be that generational energy that i was picking up too like there's no reason for you to have to like reinvent the wheel when the wheel is already invented so it's like you just need to pick it up from where they left off, okay? And it, like <laughs> build your own like additions to the wheel, right? You don't have to just rebuild the entire wheel. That's going to take forever. And then someone's going to come in and just build on where you left off and <laughs> and you're not going to reach where you're trying to go, right? So spirits like I'm putting the right people in front of you. I just need you to reach your hand out and grab theirs, okay? So really pay attention to emails. Some of you guys will receive emails if you send out a um, like I said, you've been trying to get someone to sign something or maybe you're trying to get some of you guys need to, um, sorry, I'm like jumping all over the place. I'm getting a lot of downloads. Um, some of you guys need to get, send out emails is what I'm hearing. Okay. Like you need to reach out to sponsors or, um, sponsorships that you want to, like if you're an influencer, sponsorships that you want to, um, Who's spirit? Okay, okay, okay. Sponsorships that you want to like land, like reach out. Okay, hire somebody because some of you guys are trying to do it all yourself, and that's why it's burnt. You're burnt out. Hire someone who does that, right? Hire somebody who sends out emails or reaches out to talent agents, right? Um, or to this, maybe they're the ones who are going to represent you from an agency. And that way, you don't have to put in all the extra work because they're doing it. Like spirit says right here. Your worth is not based on your productivity, meaning you don't have to do it all. <laughs> you don't have to do much, okay? It never has been. Um, and you don't have to take action to prove that you belong. You are just worthy. This is just your divine right. Spirit is like you, okay, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying that um, you deserve this. You are worthy of this dream. You are worthy of achieving and receiving this dream. And it's going to come to you regardless. Now, the level that you're going to reach within this dream is really dependent on you. Because if you're going to start from scratch and you're going to keep working alone, you're not going to get very far. But if you're going to work with others, you're going to collaborate, you're going to get your name out there, you're going to, you know, receive exposure through other people who have a larger following. I don't know why I keep going back to like, this could definitely be through like social media or through like in, an internet thing or something like you're trying to be seen. I keep getting this thing of you need to be seen, okay? And through being seen through, um, you know, getting sponsorships and, um, <clears throat> maybe even be in the face of a company or 
um, people, you know, them putting them on you, like them putting you on their social media and they have like a million followers, like you are going to be able, like you're going to get known. People are going to follow you. They're going to see your talent, your skill, your ability, whatever it is. And they're going to love it. They're going to absolutely love it. So collaborate with people, work with people, okay? Put your talent out there. Some of you guys, this is a creative talent, okay? This is like a creative, like you're some sort of creator, like I keep getting influencer, but you could be some sort of creator or a create uh, an artist, okay, of some sort. This could be in the beauty field. This could be in regards to dance, right? I was saying dance. This could be graphic design. Um, this could be architect. Um, you know, but this seems like you're trying to have people like sponsor you or invest in your company or, you know, this could be a business, like a home business. Okay. Um, definitely something that's online based, um, an influencer where you're just trying to have certain brand deals so that you can, um, you know, show them off. But through that, you are also growing your following, um, and you're also, getting paid to you know do what you what you do it's like spirit is like it doesn't take much work it's actually actually they're asking you to lessen your lessen your your load okay and for those of you guys who haven't been like working with these other people okay are listening to the downloads do that okay do that okay let's see what we have here what what I see in my mind, I will one day hold in my heart. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so <clears throat> hold on to that dream. Okay, hold on to your dream. This is like 100% confirmation. Okay, what you see in your mind, that vision that you have of yourself, of your dream, okay? you will one day, it'll be a part of you. You'll hold it in your heart, okay? For some of you guys, this is a baby, right? It's a little baby. For others, this is you being on the big screen, right? For others, this is your book going crazy, selling out, okay? For some, this is you being interviewed by <laughs> the news, right? Or being interviewed by a big like podcast or um, a bit a well known place, and they put you out there, and now everyone's following you and buying your product or investing in your company, or you know if you're creating you know oracle decks like I do or card decks like they're buying your card decks, they're loving them, right? They want everything that you do because they love you, they're loving you, they're falling in love with you. I love it. I love it. So this is what you are manifesting, okay, into your life. You are manifesting your dream. You are manifesting your vision. This is what's coming, and this is the advice to get there, okay? Oh, you know what? Let me pull a couple of tarot before we go. I was going to close it out, but let me pull a couple of tarot cards, Spirit. <clears throat> when I said, and this is your advice to get there, I'm like, well, let me pull a couple of cards here. What's some other advice, Spirit, on how to how to manifest this dream, okay? The Knight of Cups, okay? Don't don't mind that. <laughs> the Knight of Cups, okay? Keep listening to your intuition. Keep moving forward with your heart's desire, okay? Let's see here. The Hierophant, mentored, okay? <laughs> Collaboration, receiving guidance, okay? Receive guidance from others. Allow them to mentor you. Some of you guys, you may take a course, you may work one-on-one -on -one with somebody. You may hire them to do certain parts of your business or to run certain parts of your business so that you don't have to put in all the work, okay? I'm hearing money will always be there. Money will always come, okay? Whatever resource that you need to get this done, it's already there is what I'm hearing, okay? And the queen of swords, okay? Be a truth seeker, okay? I'm, I'm hearing be honest with yourself. Okay, be honest with yourself as you move forward. Maybe this is the person that you need to work with. Someone who's going to be honest with you. Because at times you may be like, oh, I'm doing all that I can. Or at times you may be like, I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing enough, but uh, I feel like it's just going to come in, right? You need someone who's going to be like, hey, hey. Did you, did you knock that blah, 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 the to-do list? <laughs> Someone who's going to think logical. Someone who's only going to move forward with the truth and nothing but the truth here. Okay? 
They're going to motivate you. They're going to inspire you. They're going to put the fire under you, okay, so that you work. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Practice makes perfect. Do not give up on your dream. Do not give up on your Keep creating. This is definitely for my creators here. A lot of you guys are creators. So keep creating. Keep going. Okay, keep going. You are through creation. You are manifesting this reality. Okay, there's a lot of abundance that's coming your way too. This is the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is like, we're good right? We're good. We're being seen. We are, you know, we're on, in the spotlight. We have more than enough abundance, right? We have our financial abundance coming in. We have a steady thing going, right? You're actually, you already have something steady going. Maybe you just haven't put it out there. Okay. So make sure your, your talent is being seen, your skill, your ability, you're connecting with people, you're collaborating with people, you're having fun. You're not overworking yourself. Okay. You're not under working yourself either, okay, you're being honest with yourself or you're hiring someone to be honest for you, someone who is going to be like, hey, I checked your email, this is who we need to get back to, or maybe they're sending emails out for you, or maybe they're checking your emails for you, right, or maybe they're giving you the to-do list and they're checking it at the end of the day, Have, did, you, did you do all of the things on the to-do list? No? Okay, well, let's just move some of these things till tomorrow, right? But there's somebody that you're meant to work with, okay, hire an assistant is what I'm hearing too. Hire an assistant. Okay, you could have been getting that download. Spirit is going to tell you what you need to do. You just have to listen with the, with the download energy there. Okay? Now I'm going to close it out. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know how this resonates with you and your path and your manifestation path. This is a, a new type of reading that I'm doing. I typically do fertility reads. So if you're in a fertility journey, check out my playlist. I also have a couple of affirmation videos that you may enjoy here. And then whatever else, you know, I may decide to add later on. You may just want to subscribe, okay? Because we're just barely getting started. <laughs> I'm sending you so much love and light. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you in my next reading. Bye. Hello, my divine gods and goddesses. Welcome to pile number three. Okay, if you selected pile number three, you're in the right place. This is going to be a reading all about your manifestations, what you are manifesting in your life at this current time. Are you currently like, you know, taking certain actions to bring in this manifestation or, you know, are you the words you're speaking at this time automatically, you know, bringing something towards you? You know, we're hoping that it's positive, right? So far, it's been great. <laughs> um, but this is what spirit wants you to know. Okay, the spirit wants you to know that the energy that you keep, the energy that you have around you is now bringing in this manifestation for you. You are manifesting this into your life. So let's see what we have here. We actually have a few oracle cards we're going to go through and then I'll pull some tarot cards at the end. Okay, so love. Oh, this, I love this card. I mean... It is love, right? <laughs> but I love this card. It feels like magic to me. And I always smell roses when I see it. Some of you guys are manifesting more time for yourself. You're also manifesting a deeper connection with self, a deeper self-love connection. Like you are really starting to um, enjoy who you truly are. Okay, that's what I feel. And a lot of you guys need this. I'm hearing that this is a blockage, the, the um, not this, but like how you're feeling about yourself right now, the things that you think about yourself, the words you say about yourself. Um, it may, you may be like, I love myself or I, you know, I think positively, I think highly of myself, but not right now, you know, but not maybe, you know, when things weren't going good, when your bank account was looking kind of low, you were probably judging yourself like, man, why did I buy that? Or why didn't I save that? Right. Or maybe when your hair wasn't looking the best, instead of saying, you know what, you are worthy of your hair looking, you you have the right to have your hair looking however you want it to look. And no matter what you still, you are still beautiful. Instead of you saying that you were like, mm -mm, no, no girl, no, no, no boy, no, you got to get your hair done, right? Like you weren't having it. Um, this is deep love to the point where things on the outer, like your outer appearance does not matter. This is deep love to you, to the point where you know who you are and you know what you love. Like you know what brings you joy. Like for example, if it's ice cream, like if ice, ice cream brings you joy, 
It doesn't matter what your day's looking like, what happened, you know, what your bank account is looking like. If someone brings you ice cream, you're happy, right? Like that is what you're figuring out. You're figuring out, you're manifesting this, this, this knowing, this inner knowing of who am I and what do I like? Um, some of you guys are stepping away from a relationship, whether you're in a relationship right now or you're not and you were, okay? Um, I feel like this doesn't have to be like you broke up with them or you're going to separate from them. This just feels like you lost yourself in your relationship and now you're stepping away from that connection and you are learning about yourself again. It's almost like you're like, hi, I'm such and such. Who are you? You know, and they're like, hi, I'm such and such. And you're getting to know yourself again. You're like, what do you like to do? You're like, I like to sleep, <laughs> right? And they're like, well, what do you like to do? And they're like, well, I like going to the zoo. And you're like, oh, that's so cool, right? I used to like to go to the zoo. Like you're reconnecting with the things that you used to like and love. Um, and you're starting to remember, you're starting to reflect. Some of you guys could be big journalists. Like you might like to, is that a journalist? You might like to journal, okay? Um, you may like to read a lot as well. Writing, scripting is very powerful for you and your manifestation. Um, you may even want to work with a rose quartz crystal. So this rose quartz, actually I have a few that are my fave, but this one, this raw rose quartz, I don't know what it is about this raw rose. Mm, I needed this today. I needed to hold this today. Thank you, Spirit, because, oh, I needed this. Thank you. I don't know what it is about this rose quartz, y'all, but... I just love it. It's beautiful. I hope you can feel the loving energy just coming off of this crystal. And I hope, you know, this is something that you can embrace as well. Um, but working with a rose quartz crystal is something that you should do. Okay. I feel like we're actually going to put her right there <laughs> because I feel like this is something that is going to bring in a deeper sense of healing and a deeper sense of understanding who you are. I feel like for this pile, you actually are manifesting a few things. So it'll be interesting to see what else we have coming out here. I haven't seen any of the cards, but I feel like there's a few energies that are here. Okay. Love is one of them. And love is like, the greatest one of all. Like I said, I feel like this, like the way that you were thinking about yourself in the past or that you've been re thinking about yourself recently, you've been really hard on yourself. You've been very judgmental of yourself and you have been like stopping or, or blocking um, like this energy of flow to you because you have been so hard on yourself, because you have been judging yourself. Um, and with this love, um, some of you guys, I feel like connecting with your third eye is powerful too. Um, with this and your heart chakra, big time, okay, heart chakra connection. With this love increasing within, it is like the, it's almost like it's turning your whole, like, oh my gosh, okay. It's like it's turning your whole outer space pink, like your whole outer reflection, everything you see is pink. I just heard like wearing rose colored glasses. And this is not in the fact that you're walking through being naive, right? You're not walking through life being naive. You're just walking through life, seeing the beauty and everything. Like, you're like, wow. You know, this dog over here, like, won't stop barking. And you barely got any sleep. But instead of being like, wow, that dog has a big mouth. You're like, wow, that dog is beautiful. Right? Like, you're seeing <laughs> the beauty. I mean, it doesn't have to be that. But I'm just saying, you're, you're seeing the beauty and everything is what I feel here. Let's see what else we have here. Storm warning in reverse, okay? The void, wow, powerful energies. I actually wanna read storm warning in reverse because it has a specific meaning in the reverse form in this deck. So I'm gonna look at it and see what it is. We have good fortune, okay, in reverse. We have generosity upright, okay? Definitely being more generous to yourself and also Thank you, Spare. Also receiving and emotions. I love it. Okay, so what I am seeing here, what I am feeling with this message, like I said, there's a few things that are happening here. Because you are, this is the center. This is like the, this is it. Like that starts everything. It's like because you are loving yourself, Okay, the void is a fresh start. The void is, the sky is completely black, 
right? This is the dark moon. So the sky is completely black, except for, of course, we have the stars, but the moon is not there. It's the very beginning of something. It is a fresh start. It is a clean slate. You literally have a blank canvas to create your reality. This is a number one. One, one, one is the number that means a new beginning. One means a new beginning, right? It's 10 is the end of a cycle and one is the start of a cycle. I feel here, oh, we have 10 as well in reverse. Oh, this is so powerful. Oh my gosh. We also have the number two and the number 16, which is also the number seven. Okay. But what I see here, what I feel here is that you are literally being given, like you are manifesting a clean slate. You are manifesting the ability to start fresh to start over in something, okay? To, if this could be a relationship, it definitely feels like a relationship with self, but it could also be a relationship with others. Um, I definitely feel a lot of self energy though, okay? A lot of self energy, especially with the void and how she's like laying there. And it doesn't matter if female or male watching this, whatever you associate is, I don't see gender when it comes to the cards. I just see the person and so if I say she it's because I see she here okay so um I'm not saying you have to be female or male for that to relate because it relates to anyone who chose this pile but you are some of you guys have been feeling very empty inside okay you haven't been feeling whole you haven't been feeling fulfilled you've been going up up and down okay when it comes yeah, up and down when it comes to emotions. We have the emotions cards here, which we'll, we'll read later. Um, but let me see what storm warning is in reverse because I feel like that's a really powerful message. We have on the storm warning card, we have a tornado. Um, let me turn it up right here so you can see the imagery. So we have a tornado. Sorry for the glare. Um, we have a, looks like a bridge that was once there that is no longer, like it's like broken. Okay, we have the lightning, we have the, it's like the storm warning card, it's like there's a storm coming, and storm warning in reverse, I feel like you've surpassed the storm, like you've made it through the storm, or maybe the storm is avoiding you, but let's see here, let's see what we have, because I, I feel really called to see what the exact message is, because I feel like it deeply resonates with your, your manifestation. So... So first of all, let me just point out how number 11 is cornucopia, okay? And it says wishes fulfilled. Okay, that's number one, okay? <laughs> so let's look at number 10. Um, it says clouds on the horizon. That's what this card represents, but it's in reverse. So it says the card reverse indicates that the dark times are behind you. And look at how funny we have the dark moon that's behind us, right? We have the dark moon here in the past, and then we have the storm morning in reverse. Ah, I love it. Okay. Um, so it indicates that the dark times are behind you or at least beginning to fall away. You can take heart. I mean, that's not a coincidence. That sunny skies and better times are on the horizon. This new light may bring a time of reassessment and redirection for you. Let yourself consider where you want to go next. Also spend some time reflecting on the difficulty that has passed. What was the lesson for you? Whether it's about self-love, oh my gosh, or empowerment, remember to bring these intentions and the lessons learned into your bright new path. The affirmation here says, I have the power to overcome any obstacle. No matter what is going on, I can be strong, confident, and self-directed. You know, like I said, I felt that that was going to resonate with your path and it 100% did. 100% like oh my gosh and I just looked at the time and it says 1142 so literally I feel like <laughs> I feel like with the number 11 there and we just saw 11 like right after right this number 10 and it was cornucopia which is abundance wishes fulfilled and then we have um, 42 being six the number six being balance okay? Like your wishes are coming in. You are being brought into balance. Maybe your wish was for peace. Some of you guys were just wishing for peace. You wanted to stop going through the storm. You've been going through a storm. I'm hearing, um, oh, what is that? I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. What is that? It says no more, no more cloudy days. 
they've all gone away i feel like i can make it the storm is over now i i can't remember the name of that song if you know that song put it in the comments um it's a gospel song but those lyrics are like ringing like there's no more cloudy days they have gone away okay you have a clean slate this is a new beginning this is what you are manifesting in whatever way you may need it if it's a relationship maybe you're releasing a relationship with a person a love relationship that was not that was toxic right that was damaging to your soul your spirit you lost yourself this could be in terms of a career you're letting that go this could be in terms of a goal that you had that was literally driving you crazy right and you're letting that go you are releasing or you have recently released something that was a storm for you it was a lot of ups and downs it was a lot of thunder and lightning it was a lot of we have the tornado here like girl boy goodness like it's just <laughs> like the energy that I feel right now is like, you're like, oh my gosh, like what is going on? Some of you guys even say, what's next? And you'd never want to say that unless you are expecting something positive to be next. So you're saying what's next? What's next? A new beginning, a new start, a fresh, clean slate, okay? Where you get to paint your own canvas, where you get to create your own reality. Literally, spirit is giving you the, the paintbrush, okay? You are manifesting a blank canvas. You are manifesting a blank check. Think about that. A blank check. It's already signed. It's already connected to the universe of the, the bank of the universe, right? The universal bank meaning you can ask for as much as you want. The check is signed. All you have to do is put the amount you want, right? And deposit it. That's all you guys to do. You've done the work. I'm hearing you've done the work. The storm is over now. No more cloudy days. They've all gone away, okay? Like the storm warning card said, some of you guys, the storm is over. For some, you're stepping, you're barely stepping out of it. This is why it's so important for you to work with the rose quartz crystal. This is why it's so important for you to give yourself love, have a self-care routine or a self-love routine, release toxic people, toxic situations, and understand that going through emotional ups and downs is just normal. It's just a part of who you are. We have here, I am a human being that has emotions. Feeling is a part of life and negative emotions that I encounter are welcome. However, I will simply acknowledge them and let them pass. I will not hold on to these thoughts, but intentionally release them as they come. And that's exactly how you need to do these people too is what I'm hearing. <laughs> these people, these situations, these experiences that were, like I said, toxic or just were not. Um, they were taking you through a storm, like there was always something, okay, because you lost yourself. You lost yourself, and then now it's time for you to, you know what? Oh my gosh! Wow, Spirit, that is amazing. I am just now realizing that we have the number one here, and we have the number one again. The number 10 in reverse is a one, zero, one. <sighs> this is beautiful. You are doing a complete 180. The life that you had previously is done. Is done. Okay. You are reversing this energy. Okay, this good fortune that's in reverse right here. You are moving away. I think you guys are the only pile who have these two cards, like two cards like this. They came out together. And I immediately, they flipped over. Um, and I saw like the good fortune and I didn't know what this one was going to be, but I was like, okay, I got to take them both because I just feel like they go together. The good fortune and the generosity here literally are just, this is you releasing this good fortune or this energy of lack. Okay. Because it's in reverse and you are having, receiving more than enough, right? Your fortune is coming in in generous amounts abundant amounts like i said i feel like there are multiple things happening here for you so if you've been trying to manifest more than enough if you're trying to manifest um financial abundance or material abundance okay i see that coming in for this pile okay um if you're trying to manifest a clean slate a fresh start um this could be with yourself or with a connection of someone else okay or meeting someone new a new job a new experience something that is not going to take you through 
you know, (laughs) H-E-L-L, something that's not going to take you through a crazy time, you are manifesting that. That is what's coming in. If you're trying to manifest learning who you are again, getting back to feeling joyful, getting back to feeling like yourself because you've lost yourself in this journey we call life, you are manifesting that, okay? Some of you guys need rest with this dark moon and I see her laying here like, some of you guys just need to rest for a minute because you've been through such a storm. Okay, rest. This manifestation is not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, you're being carried into this next phase. Okay, you're being carried into this next phase of your life, into this manifestation. <clears throat> Definitely, excuse me. Definitely. Okay, let's see what we have here. I am going to pull a another card this is going to be a affirmation card or more manifestation card i can't wait to see are two going to come out i feel like two may come out for you guys so let's see what we have here oh we have one. Oh, <laughs> yes i love it okay my world has an abundance of love trust and compassion yes okay so you are manifesting abundance into your world love into your world people you can trust and situations you can trust into your world and compassion into your world please work with rose quartz okay whenever you're seeing this keep your rose quartz with you today wear a rose quartz bracelet a ring hold a palm stone in your hand put it over your heart chakra um put it on your third eye that may be a little powerful though but i would say put it on your heart chakra um and send that energy up to your third eye um for some of you guys that may give you a headache if you put it directly in your third eye i don't know why but i just felt like it might give someone a headache so maybe just like just put it on your heart and then send the energy upwards um and down just let it disperse okay throughout your body um but yeah Wow. Okay, so let's see, Spirit. Any other messages here for pile number three? Okay, in terms of what they are manifesting, okay, into their life? Or what is what is it that you are directing them to do at this time? Okay, I know rest. Spirit's like rest, 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 my child, rest, okay? That's what I'm hearing, rest. We have the nine of pentacles. I'm hearing you've done it. You've done it. Some of you guys do need to speak to someone though. Communicate, okay? Speak to a counselor, a friend, okay? You are, like I said, you are manifesting people that you can trust into your life, manifesting close relationships, okay, into your life. You're gonna feel compassionate about things again. Can you believe that? Like you're opening up your heart chakra. Some of you guys are like, I'm never gonna love again. I'm never gonna trust anybody again. Like, mm-mm. Not over here, not happening here, okay? It took some time with this little snail and it could take some more time. Spirit is like, you have a blank canvas. You're not gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna paint it all in one day. It's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. But you can do little by little, step by step, okay, is what I'm hearing. Good fortune is coming to you. It is yours. Abundance is here generosity people are oh my gosh this makes me want to cry people are going to be nice to you genuinely nice not because they're putting on a show not because they're fronting in front of other people they want other people to think they're being nice to you they're literally going to be nice to you and that's what i mean by you're going to trust be able to trust people again because you're going to be able to let your guard down you're going to be able to let people in and this is going to welcome in love and like I said in the beginning, it starts with self-love. It starts with you saying, looking in the mirror and say, hi, I'm such and such, who are you? And let yourself answer. And be honest with yourself. Be honest, do mirror work, right? Be honest with yourself. And say, you know, um, say your name. They say, what do you like? <laughs> you say, I like to sleep. I like to cry, right? That stuff that... <laughs> Or they may say, what are you doing in your spare time while I cry, right? Because maybe you don't like to cry, but you may just cry, right, randomly. 
because you're healing. You're, you're walking, you're crawling away from the storm. And then be honest with yourself. And then listen honestly too when they say what they like. Because that's going to be the old you. That is going to be the true you. If it's not the old you, it's the true you coming through. My like, wall. I like going to the beach. And you're like, well, yeah, I haven't been to the beach in a while. Yeah, I, yeah, I like going to the beach too, right? Like, <laughs> like, and then you start to remember the things that you really like and the things that make you feel whole. And take those messages and take action on those messages. Okay, wow. The death card on the bottom of the deck. This is a huge transformation, a rebirth, a renewal, never being the same again. Like you're not going to like you've gone through what you were meant to go through. That was a lesson, right? That was a lesson learned or that was something that you were nothing is a coincidence. So you were meant to take something from this experience. But I'm telling you, you're stepping into a whole new and things are going to move. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Things are going to move so quickly with the Knight of Swords. So quickly. So quickly. Some of you guys are going to remember who you were, how strong you were, how capable you were, how much of a leader you were. Some of you guys are taking, not some, all of you guys are meant to take back your power. Reclaim your throne is what I'm hearing. Okay? And be bullheaded about it. I know it's not the bull. <laughs> but I hear be bull like ram like with the rams there. Ram it out. But no, be bullheaded about it. Be consistent, persistent. Know your right. Know your worth. Okay. And there's that pentacle. There's that pentacle. I love it. Whether you are male or female, king or queen, okay? We have male energy here. So this could definitely resonate with a um, masculine energy that's watching this reading, but doesn't have to be. It can also be, of course, my divine feminine energies. Um, but this is you. This is it's so masculine because you are reclaiming your power. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, con number three. This is what I have for you, and this is what's manifesting for you. I hope that you loved it. <laughs> Um, and if you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. This is something new that I have just started doing, doing kind of generalized readings on my channel. I typically do fertility reads. So if you are on a fertility journey, um, or if you would like to hear some guidance from the spirit babies, because sometimes they just give us guidance on our paths in life, check out my playlists, okay? Um, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's no telling what's going to be coming through next. <laughs> Thank you so much once again. And I'm sending you so much love and light. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.